films and shows, but yet you were heavily involved in this rescue. Tell us about it. That's right, Chuck. I actually work at Shamu Stadium. So when this pilot well mass stranding happened, I was actually called out of my normal duties at Shamu Stadium to come and help work with these pilot whales. It was round the clock care. Every 24 hours, we were feeding the whales every four hours. So once a shift was leaving, another crew was coming in to help with these whales. Well, every four hours you're feeding them. Any parents out there, you know how it is when you got the little babies. You got to feed them every few hours or so. Well, these became your babies, but instead of being a tiny baby, they were 12 feet long, a couple hundred pounds, something like that. Um, Dr. Gold was saying that uh, we were able to name uh, whale number 301. We named uh, her Freddie. Uh, so she's actually here, is that correct? And how is it determined that we keep her here? JP, you want to speak to that? You know, Freddie is here. Um, Freddie's here along with Ace and Piper and Ava. Now, when the decision comes, Chuck, to these animals being non-releasable, again, that's not Seawolf's decision. That goes from National Marine Fisheries Services. And we get that letter saying they're non-releasable, and then a whole new process starts. And this process is actually placement for these animals. Just because Seawolf rescues the animals does not mean they stay with SeaWorld. In the case of these pilot whales, we have the expertise and we have the facilities. So SeaWorld said with their statement and their mission, we'll care for them for the rest of their lives and continue to grow and educate. And you guys have the ability to go out and see these animals over at our Whale Dolphin Stadium. Yeah, and there's actually doing some trainer talks and presentations. So if you want to swing by the Whale and Dolphin Stadium, take a look at Freddie and learn a little bit more about it, we certainly can. So Freddie has been acclimated. Well, instead of talking about it, let's take a look at this last clip on pilot whales about the acclimation process. Hopefully we continue down this road and we can just see these guys continue to grow. Finally, these three survivors are out of quarantine, swimming well on their own and growing. They graduate from a rescue facility and move into a deeper pool. They no longer need to be separated from others. Here, they can be introduced to pilot whales and dolphins and continue their remarkable road to recovery. Working with these rescued pilot whales was an extraordinary experience. Watching them thrive, watching them develop personalities, and taking care of them, giving them a second chance of life. That's why we do what we do. And Valerie, that's, that's a great statement. That is why we do what we do. It's in our DNA. Part of SeaWorld's mission statement is to learn about animals, protect them, and care for them, and the natural world that we share. And I'm not just talking about animals that are at our, our SeaWorld parks, but all animals. And speaking of all animals, it is now time to meet another rescued animal. You ready to meet him? Yes. Here he is. He's a brown pelican. Please say hello 